anybody else wishing to address this council from the public? This is the time set aside. Anybody wishing to address this council? If there's none wishing to address this council, that part of the public comment part is closed. Any council persons wishing to respond? Ms. Fields? I'd like to say to the gentlemen, um, actually uh, a couple of gentlemen who were here asking us to save their house, I have a question. The treasurer's office has a uh, foreclosure prevention program. You have an opportunity for three years to work with them, uh, one year at a time. Um, did you work with them to prevent foreclosure on your home? Did you even make application? Did you even try? to prevent foreclosure when you were sent these notices for three subsequent years. Point of order. Ms. Fields, are you directing that through Point the chair of, to a board. person? We don't usually go back and forth like right. that with the public. Mm -hmm. I'm not So asking. is that what's your point of My order, Ms. Galloway? We don't we just we 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 we, sh we respond. We don't go back and forth with the public and so I don't know. It looks like she's waiting for him to respond and that's out of our council rules. And I thought that we knew that, and particularly if you don't direct those comments through the chair. You may proceed, Ms. Uh, Fields. Well, I would Ms. Galloway apparently thinks she can read, read my mind. Response. I wasn't expecting any response from him whatsoever. It was uh, a bit of a rhetorical question. So. Thank you, sir. Um, I just want to say, even to my colleagues, um, regardless of what we think about the policy, it takes a lot of courage for someone to come and ask for help to save their home. And so um, I wasn't trying to be rude to any of my colleagues, but I really think that it's inappropriate to, in my opinion, attack someone and ask them in an open setting, have they tried everything that they should, and that it was a rhetorical question. Um, this is a grown man. And so grown men, if you know anything about them, don't just come into open settings and let people know that they struggle. It takes a lot, especially for a black man. I can only speak based on cultural things. And so I'm just asking that even if we don't agree with someone, that we wouldn't in any way impose anything that can cause shame or insinuate that maybe before they came here, they hadn't tried everything that they could to ensure that they could save their family's house. That moves us along to resolution 220155. What is the pleasure of this body? I love that phrase. Uh, Madam, oh, well. Miss Worthing? Madam Chair. Yes. I'd like to move resolution 220155 to council. There is a motion on the floor to send resolution 220155 to council. Is there a second? Is there a second? Is there a second? Motion dies for lack of a second. What is the pleasure of this body? Point of order. What's your point? I Beth? believe someone was going to second it, but didn't Met? have there, a chance. I, I apologize. Was there movement for a second? Yes, I'll second. No, it's too late. It's yeah, it's it's died for lack of second. Mm -mm. It, it died. I would ask that all council people turn to twenty-seven point one for their hearing and reading. No council person shall leave their seat while a motion is on the floor. That's not relevant. But what is relevant? No council person. Point of shall information. What's your point of information, Ms. Worthy? Did you not leave your seat about 10 to 15 times while a motion was on the floor in the previous meeting? And I got permission from Ms. Alley, and I didn't do it in this meeting that I'm chairing under these rules. So that's the answer to your question. I'm going to warn you, don't use it to get the floor. I've answered your question. So I'm going to get back to what I was doing. I have not left my seat yet this meeting. What? I'm just trying to see what you're doing. I ain't never seen such a move as that. Let me get back without this disturbance. Mr. Mays said, looking at Mr. Herring's camera setup, he said, I'm not talking to you all. I'm talking to the camera. And then proceeded to address his remarks to, I guess, the public, the camera. I, I, you know, I don't know. So that's why. I pointed out that rule. 
because council meetings, as much as he actually is successful in making them such, council meetings are not meant to be the Eric Mays reality show. They're, they're to conduct business. And the more his behavior continued that way, and I've asked you to review that particular meeting, so just make note in your mind point of, of what I'm saying What's now. Your point? David X, Nation of Islam, First Federation. Uh, I make no secret of my support for Councilman Mays. However, Brother Mays, uh, when, you, when you start your dialogue and you started by these goofy rules and I went to law school and my daddy was a preacher and I've never seen this in 30 years, you're eliminating the time that you have to speak. You are definitely the most talented by far on that council. But when you do that, and you do this every time, and I've, I've been on here for 30 years, and you go into your repeating yourself, become repetitive, then you eliminate the time that you do have that you can share some meaningful document, uh, information. Everyone knows that story. Everyone understands that the mayor's brother-in-law jumped on you. But to keep rehashing it, you not only diminish your time, but the council people that support you, you start seeing them pull away their support. So you need to make sure that I would suggest or ask that you keep the council people that are supportive of you, as well as just stick to stick to the council, to the, to the subject. Or as you say, staying on point. Because when you don't, you not only overspeak and you, it becomes Charlie Brown's teacher, right? Wah, wah, wah. No one's listening anymore. And I find myself tuning you out. So stay on point as you term it. And you have a lot to bring to this council. You're the most knowledgeable, the most versified, the most educated in council rules. So I would ask that you continue to do that. Come talking about these goofy council rules and why this and why that. Because it doesn't, it doesn't add anything. And you have new people coming to council and I want them to work with you as opposed to them being against you because you have a lot to add. You do a good job at it. So that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker, please. And to Councilman Davis, you said that you wanted to be just like Trump. So in one aspect, you are. He was a one-term president, and you are a one-term council person. I'm not trying to make the news with this crowd illegally and discriminatorily removing me from a meeting. The charter is clear on different treatment for the same or similar conduct. It's called discrimination. If race is a factor, then it's illegal by state and federal law. Ms. Herkin wrote out, you denied me the right to get the flow and speak uninterrupted by you. As you have two minutes left, please complete your, your time. Thank you, because Mr. Davis don't know. I done dealt with Jackie Poplar, Carrie Nelson, Juan Twez Davis, and my philosophy. What's your orders of the day? To get back to the topic and Mr. Mays, we are on how you're going to vote for the city administrator, please. 
Mr. Ms. Gallery, can you hear him sitting here talking close to me and you giving him too many chances? That's a formula for disaster. Now I'm telling you, one more outburst, he needs to quit Mr. talking Davis, to me. He one needs more to outburst, be gone. And I'm going to call Officer Metcalf. This you is you. Have to. I could leave if that's Bye. What you want. If that's your choice, Mr. Davis, Good. we all have a choice. Me, Mr. I, Davis, stop you talking. Order now. You really are. And if you're going to leave because you're not going to be orderly, then do that. Go ahead, Mr. Mays. Uh, when I got the flow, I would have been done with Mr. Edwards. And when I get sidetracked off of political nonsense, this ain't a podcast. This is a real Mr. Video. Mays, I am telling you guys, this is it. Stick to the business at hand. Are you going to support point the of order or not? Point of order. What is your point of order? You out of order I'm interrupting not. me. I'm not. And so I am going I to chair this meeting. The There's an appeal of the decision of the chair on the floor. Is there a second? There's an appeal of the decision of the chair on the floor. Is there a second? There's an appeal of the decision of the chair on the floor. Is there a second? Your motion dies May for I a lack. You will continue. You and have so a minute this and 27. Is a, this is a real video council meeting, not a podcast. And my position is this. In this real council meeting that's not a podcast, if I'm going to be held to certain standards, while I attempt to ask this man a question telling y'all why I will not vote yes as it relates to a flow of information is relevant to me. It's Jermaine, it's Tito, and it's Jackie, and it's Marlon. I'm not going to do this for three, four years. I've been successful before. It's going down. You can't conduct city business in the middle of this mess. Stevie Wonder, Ray Charles knew it was an appeal. And we can't get folks to vote right. Now, you ain't got to vote for me. And I'm here to tell you, just That's vote for what's right. Let's say on the record, it sounds like because I didn't support you, you're intimidating. No, it was both of us made that, that appeal. When the white folks appeal, you, 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 you vote with them. When the two blacks appeal, you don't you know it's there. And now you're intimidating me. I ain't intimidating you. I'm just telling you to talk the truth. If you feel intimidated, I can't control that. I can't control how good y'all feel. I can't control that. So you show feel friendly. You know, they say they scared. They stay in the night war. Chair mean must. So that's why I tell y'all repeatedly, cease talking. And it be folks arguing and steady talking and we be point order, point of information. And the rules say you shall be removed. But y'all got a friend. He don't remove the women for an alleged violation the rules were directed by the chair but any chair direct him to move against this black man he up hey i watch a lot of tv you ain't got no problem with me officer but let me fool around and resist it's a felony i'm gonna lose my seat i'm not that stupid and i'm not gonna be called a threater i'm not gonna be called a racist and I don't care who stands with signs, women, Lisa Williams, I've seen her, say I'm standing with these women on the council. I came with a few other women from the first ward to stand up against abuse in this council. Um, prior to that, I came to a city council meeting and it was a lot of yelling going on from Mr. Mays. And Throughout the whole water crisis, I have seen a lot of things, and one of the things that have really been standing out to me is the abuse. The abuse on the women being called stupid, ignorant. Point of information, Ms. Stupid, President. ignorant. Our council rules don't allow a point of order. They don't allow for personal attacks. Okay. Now, if she's gotten up here to make personal attacks as to me, I'm saying in general. Hold, hold then on, I'm, I'm telling you she's out of order because from this point on, whether it's Eva Worth and Kate Fields or okay. Lisa Williams, Ms. I'm going to make the record Lisa, that it's Lisa out of order. Mr. President, she's hold out of order when I'm on. talking. That's why Proceed. Quincy got put out. And I'm standing with the women on my council. I don't care if I lose friends over this. I don't care if people get mad at me over this. City clerk, 
You can be my mom, point of grandma, information. My, my, my auntie. Hold on just a second. What's your point, Councilman? She's standing with these folks calling me a racist. Is that what I'm hearing? Mr. President, I have a question for you. Is it appropriate for yes. council to do point of orders or point of information saying. during public? Well, yeah, point of information is always a point of Proceed. I'm saying with the women, this is not a black Proceed. or white thing. And Ms. Williams and whoever she was with, in my opinion, from me talking to others in the first ward, <coughs> she is a small representation of the first ward coming down here saying she stand with two white women who done called a press conference. Ms. Ms. Williams, you're out of order. That's what we getting at. That's why Quincy got put out, Mr. President. I'm calling her to order. Can you get her out of here? Stand get her out of here. Ms. Williams, I ain't with her. I ain't down with her. So, you ain't got no more to tell me. There are council members, or one council member, that hijacks the whole thing and no work about them. No. I was about to address that. Um, council, council's job is to question administration. We are allowed to make referrals. We are, our job is to be made. What information? Mr. Davis. Would you know that to be true of this body, legislative body? Uh, yes. Would you like to read it in the dictionary and see what your job is? Or have a lot of time um, to read it? You, quite you might be surprised. Mr. Davis, thank you. There um, you go. I would encourage you to read about I could read it for you right now. But Mr. Davis, you're out of order. Are you looking you at told me you want the me to read. state of Michigan? Are you looking at a dictionary? Di law dictionaries. Legislative bodies. Okay. But we I, I'm going to put a point of order. Yeah. What is your point of order? Why is Ms. Galloway talking? No one should be talking at well, this you point. you gave okay? him the Thank you. Yeah, and I said now we're done. Uh, you can't give it and take it. I would like to continue, like Mr. Mays. Point of order. What is your point? When you give the floor, right. you can't take it because you don't like what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that, Mr. Mays. So However, you said you his gave point it of to my point. You is took not that point of, order. point of order. I am allowed to point say of order. chair. Point of order. What is your point? You can't give the flow and then take it because you so I'm, 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 I'm going if you don't give it back, I'm going to appeal you for taking it from him. He has nothing else to say. So have you done and he already said his point of information. Well, you stopped me, actually. A point of information, Mr. Mays. Okay. Okay. okay, I made a quick statement. I'm done. Point. You got Go ahead. You have to be right. careful, though. You're right. A point of information is not... Move on. I know. Keep, that. Keep moving. Don't you don't catch me. yourself up in the sun. Excuse me. You're out of order. Point of order. What is your point? We on the discussion on the motion. Yes. I don't know how many times you didn't talk, but the, if, if what you're talking about ain't germane to the motion, so I'm going to say don't get bullying and funny acting on this chair thing. I'll listen and see where you're here. Are you done? For now? Did you rule on my point of order? Or do you even know what it was? I'm not quite sure. I'm going to tell you. I, I you ain't germane to this motion. Mr. Mays, I'm the chair of this committee. I'm and a as member. you were committed to uh, chair, you got point to speak order. Point of order. Point of order. I'm going to appeal your ruling to not address this a point of order and to give me a letter. I'm appealing. You were talking one thing and I done did a point of order. Your job is to rule on the point of order. And that's it. So I appeal your ruling to keep going on. I said, Second, I will make it clear. You want me to make it clear so you can discuss it? M Madam Chair. Ms. Galloway. Um, Point of order. Her job is to state the appeal and yes. then open up the flow for the debate. I haven't ruled on anything. I, I, I appealed what you were doing. I said point of order. And you didn't address the point of order. Decided Mr. you Mayor. just 
have to tell it to stop. Mr. And we are appeal to the ruling not to address the point of order. I'm going to speak. This As chair, I have every Mr. Mays, you're out of order. Point of order. See out of order. order. Point of order. Stop. Point of order. Stop. Point of order. Uh, point of order. Way of order. Point, no, point of order. Absolutely not. Point of order. We are being mad that you don't have not recognized the point of order. I say second. I say recognize the point of order. Well, you are out of order. 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 You out of order. You out of order. She out of order. I just want my constituents to know. A point of order cannot be ignored. 25 4. It is Councilwoman Galloway's desire to handle city business. Point of order, Ms. Galloway. You out of order. And, and, and to stop her from telling point you Point of order, Ms. Galloway. You out of order. Can you rule on her? Why do you treat the women different when they talk than the men down here on this scene? Tell us she out of order. Shut up. Let her go. Hold on. Mr. President, can you help me with this crowd? Let me ask you. I wish I was a chairman. This, this is crazy. I have the right to make a motion to limit it to five. Well, make a motion, but don't just come out, come out the clear blue sky and say, your five minutes is up. I'm a council. Make the motion. And if the colleagues vote on Mr. President, first get order so we can no, talk about